Now let's move on to the interesting concept called as dielectrics and polarization. If you see, a dielectric is considered to be an insulating material in which all the electrons are tightly bound to the nucleus of an atom. So you can find here how the dielectric has been tightly bound to the nucleus of an atom. So this is the thing. There are no free electrons to carry the current. We can say ebonite, mica, oil or some of the few examples of dielectrics. So these are the examples which has been depicted over here. And the electrons are not free to move under the influence of an external field. Let's move on to the topic called as polarization. Polarization is a property of waves that can oscillate with more than one orientation. So you can see here how the different orientations of the wave have been proclaimed over here. The electromagnetic waves such as light exhibit this property of polarization as do some other types of waves such as gravitational waves is also considered which you can see here. A non-polar molecule is one in which the center of gravity of the positive charge that is photons it will be coinciding with the center of gravity of the negative charge that is electrons. For the statement we have an example that is oxygen molecule, nitrogen molecule and hydrogen molecule. So these are some of the examples of a nonpolar molecule. And the nonpolar molecules do not have a permanent dipole moment. So this is one such important notification of point which we need to have in mind when we are discussing about polarization. If a non-polar dielectric is placed in an electric field, the center of charges get displaced. So you can see here how it has been displaced. And also the molecules are then said to be polarized and are said to be called as induced dipoles. They acquire the induced dipole moment which is indicated as P in the direction of the electric field. The, a polar molecule is one in which the center of gravity of the positive charges is separated from the center of gravity of negative charges by a finite distance. Considering some of the examples as N2O, H2O, HCl, NH3. So these are some of the examples of permanent dipole moment. So here is the H2O that is the water molecule and here is the ammonia that is NH3 and here is the nitrous oxide that is N2O. So these are some of the examples of permanent dipole moment. Apart from this, in the absence of an external field, the dipole moments of polar molecules orient themselves in random direction. So you can see how it has been having its random direction. Hence, no net dipole moment is observed in the dielectric. And also, when an electric field is applied, the dipoles orient themselves in the direction of the electric field. Hence, we can say a net dipole moment is produced. The alignment of the dipole moments of the permanent or induced dipoles in the direction of applied electric field is said to be called as the polarization or electric polarization. So these are some of the examples of dipole moments and you can also find the direction of the electric field. The magnitude of the induced dipole moment P is directly proportional to the external field E. 
Therefore, this can be given as P is directly proportional to E or else we can mention if you see here this has been given as the dipole moment that is the induced dipole moment P is directly proportional to the external electric field that is E. This can also be written as P equal to a constant over here is there which is the constant of proportionality. So P equal to constant of proportionality into E which is called as a molecular polarizability. Let us now discuss about the polarization of dielectric material. Considering a parallel plate capacitor having a charge plus Q and minus Q. So which has been indicated over here. Let E0 be the electric field between the plates in air. If a dielectric slab is introduced in the space between them, the dielectric slab gets polarized. So this will be the real time depiction of how the dielectric slab will get to be polarized. And over here we have been depicted how it has been polarized. Suppose the charge that is plus QI and minus QI be considered as the induced surface charges on the face of electric dipole that is the dielectric opposite to the plates of a capacitor. So considering these two induced surface charges on the face of dielectric opposite to the plates of capacitor, these induced charges produce their own field that is EI which opposes the electric field E0. So the resultant field that is E will be lesser than E0. But in terms of direction, the direction of E is in the direction of E0. So the resultant field will be E equal to E0 plus minus of EI. So EI is opposite to the direction of E naught.